Hey, you ready to go? Your brain is the engine before you hit the road. Gas up on knowledge, buckle up, let's go. Academic engagement and reaching your goals. Skills for life, it's your license to show. You got the keys, grab the wheel, check your map and your mirrors, optimizing your whole school experience. School Connect. <laughs> Enjoy your ride. Welcome back. You look good behind the wheel. You ready to meet X? X is really the boss behind this operation. What he says goes. Ultimately, he has more control over what happens to this car in your life than almost anything else. Jeez. Except maybe Amy. She's a handful. But I'll introduce you to her later. X oversees all executive functions, headquartered in the prefrontal cortex of the frontal lobe. He controls your schedule, your organization system, and your decision making. X has actually been with you all along, but you've never been formally introduced. When you were little, X helped you think through basic decisions. Hey, don't touch that. It's hot. Hey, be careful on that. Don't fall. I wouldn't do that if I were you. And now that you're older and wiser, X helps you with more sophisticated decisions. I've run the numbers, and if you sleep any later, you're going to be late for school. X is all about the bottom line. No matter what kind of decision you're trying to make, X wants to think it through with you. What do we know? How do we get more info? What are the risks? And what are the benefits? As you go through life, X has been and will be your co-pilot. If you pause to listen to him, he'll walk you through thoughtful, purposeful decision-making. Let's test it out. What's a typical decision you have to make on a typical school day? Uh, I don't know. Think. What's something you have to do every school day? How about listening in class? Okay, I guess. Okay, you're sitting in class. What are you usually thinking? Thinking? What do you mean? You know, when your teacher is talking, what are you usually thinking about? Lunch? I don't know. My friends, my next video game, that last text I just got. Okay, got it. All that information, video games, texts, what you'll have for lunch, that all runs through your frontal lobe. But if you pause to listen to X, he'll help you organize your time and your mind. Hey, perk up. What she's saying will probably be on the test. Write that down. We'll need it for studying. Focusing now will pay off later. Let's focus. What do we know? So we know if X equals 4Y and Y equals 2, then X must be 8. Right. So write that down. We may need that later. X is bossy. Does he ever just relax? X is bossy. And yes, you don't always have to listen to him. Whenever you zone out, he's still there, but you're not listening to him. You can do that, but I wouldn't recommend it. Imagine trying to take this car cross country without a map or directions or headlights. You can go forward, but not successfully. You're unlikely to get to your destination and it's going to be a bumpy road. X helps you choose your destination Map your course, pack what you need, and he motivates you along the way. He's like a good coach who helps you prepare to play, navigate challenges, and win a game. Got it? Any questions? So X for executive function is like the CEO of my brain in the prefrontal cortex of the frontal lobe, kind of like a coach of a team. He helps me set goals, stay on track, stay motivated. I can ignore him or listen to him. Exactly. You can ignore him, or you can listen to him. He's always with you, riding shotgun. Unless Amy's around. What? Who's Amy? Uh... Oh, you'll meet Amy. You can't miss her. Ugh! Think of the last time you got really mad. Um... Or really scared. Jeez. Or really excited. That's Amy for Amygdala, your emotional control center. More on that later. <laughs>